and it was hot so she took her top off and her stepkids are like suing her for like public nudity essentially or like lewdness so there's this huge like nah, bro, there's see, this huge nah, lawsuit where i'm from if you see your stepmom topless in the garage you ask her to have sex. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's uh, that's Ohio. <laughs> that's what that's I love that. That's the, oh my god. I call it as I see it, dude. Yes. You want to hear know. disgusting? We'll give you stories about disgusting. Ooh. Be ready for it because this is gonna be a full fledged Hawaiian fuck fest, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we no. are back from Hawaii. After Thanksgiving break, me and Mike went to Hawaii. I don't know where Spencer went because he doesn't live in the house and he don't communicate with us anymore. Oh, uh, yes, I did. I mean, what's good, bro? Have you blacked me out of your life? No, you that's not like true. Me that's anymore? Not true. You don't hit me up, bro. Uh, but I'll, I'll hit you. Yeah, that's true. Welcome back to Impulsive, <laughs> the number one podcast in the world. Thanks for listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving break. I hope you got to spend time with your friends and family. Um, express gratitude. Show what you're thankful for. But yeah, Mike and I went to Hawaii, which, as you can see, Hawaiian-themed. Uh, you didn't go, which is weird that you're wearing a Hawaiian. I figured shirt. I'd join in. Okay, I'm happy about it, dude. In very many ways, I'm still on this Hawaiian adventure. We speak. Yeah, about. very much so. You're still coming down, huh? I wouldn't say coming down because I didn't utilize any psychedelics or drugs that make me come up. But I'm up there because Damn. of alcohol. Well, it's, I mean, did was, you ever notice how Logan doesn't use the L when he says alcohol? Alcohol. Alcohol. <laughs> are alcohol. you the, are you the highest in the room? Ooh. Based on height? Yes. 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 Oh, damn it. Based on based on increased drug intake, no, 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 no not no. even close. Yeah, There's no. others that are much higher. No, he's been there, done that. Mm -hmm. That phase of his life is over. Yep. Hawaii was a five day bender. There's no other way to say it. I uh, I I don't often crash, uh, but there was a point in the trip where I hit zero. My tank hit zero. Yeah. You guys know me, huh? Yeah. You yep, know yep, me. Yep. It's me, Logan. I'm a pretty energetic guy. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty intense too. Like I'll I'll go balls to the wall, and I'm pretty tough, man. I can t I can handle a lot of shit, but no, yep. bro. I I made a death video. I yep. recorded. I said, Mike, start start recording. I said goodbye mm -hmm. to my mom and dad. What? I thought I was it gonna was die. That bad? I, I thought I was can, gonna die. Do you want to try that? Oh, you don't like that? Uh, what? You don't think I did that? Just how you, you recorded it? No. Just I said how, I made a death wow, video. Man. Did that not happen? Do you want to keep? Uh, Pampering our lives to fit the community, bro. Because there's something about the Hawaii trip made me realize this. Did you say pampering? The more I can be myself and like truly be authentic, I'm gonna be happier on this godforsaken platform. And the more I think people will appreciate what we do, bro. So yeah, I thought I was gonna die. My heart rate was literally it was at like 30 beats per minute, <laughs> and I, 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 I threw up on my insides, dude. Wow. He kept saying, he I kept repeating himself and going, <clears throat> Mike, my, my health. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? And he goes, my health. He goes, my health. <laughs> Do we have any video evidence yeah. of this? Yeah, we've got video of everything. We didn't, we didn't shoot anything for this trip. We didn't film any vlogs. We didn't film any night shift stuff. Nothing. We, we treated this as a true vacation, but we did shoot some cell phone video. A lot of it has never been seen before. Okay. Such as this. I mean, I, oh God. <laughs> wow. You look bad. Yeah. Hey guys. Oh no. I'm worried about my health. <laughs> my heart rate has never been this slow in my life. Oh my god. I'm deteriorating. Dude. Mom, Dad, I love you. Oh hey god. guys. There's, what? there's more, but, but yeah, the point is I w it wasn't great. Wow. But the trip was great. We spent time with Mike's sister, who's awesome, Abby and her husband Jack. <laughs> yep, yep. Phenomenal. Um, who's uh, I think being deployed. He's being redeployed. Yeah, he's, in, he's in the military, the Navy. Naval pilot. Yep. Such, we, a, such a nice guy. He would never know that he could just murder you at, at any, any time. Bro, Mike's sister is great too. Here's her, here's, she's, her name's Abby. She's like Mike, but a girl. Yeah. That's the best way I can describe it. She's super cool. Um, I we stayed at the Four Seasons, by the way, which incredible, incredible resort. They, it was the first time I stayed in a long time at like a five star, like a true like upscale resort like that, where every single thing they can do is thought of. It was just incredible. We, we, there was no reason to leave. There was so much shit. People were like, "Do this, do the road to Hana," which, by the way, we did. Eh, it, wasn't, I, I, it wasn't good. I, it was a road. It's, it was a road. It's the road to hell, dude. If I'm being honest, it's <laughs> rainy. It's windy. There's exploded cars for some reason. Every burnt out cars meters. everywhere. Are you sure you weren't in Afghanistan? 
Did Honestly, you guys no. I, I, no, we can't be. We can't confirm or deny that we were or not. The point, is, like, I, I we must have did something wrong, or maybe we didn't quite make it to the, like the real road to Hana. It's it's like a road that goes to the other side of the island, and everybody says this is the thing you have to do on Maui. And I'm by the way, I'm not saying that it's not. It very well may be. We, we maybe we didn't put in enough effort, but as we started to go down it, we started to see some of the landmarks. One of them is a place called Twin Falls. So much amazement, and magnificence. If I were to show you Twin Falls, you'd think it was. I hate to. I hate to say this to devalue Maui's sightseeing, but you would think that it was a man holding two hoses off the side of a, a, a small cliff in Ohio. Is it like really that? I mean, like, how, how far am I going to hike for that? I've seen waterfalls. <laughs> oh, there's one flower, though, in the upper left. That's all. Oh, they just cool. installed that recently as, yeah. a, as an extra attraction. But, like, so this was one of the things we were offered. Now, we're, to get here, you have to drive this treacherous road to Hana. It's curvy. It's a one-lane highway. You could run your rented Chevy Impala into a, a guardrail at any point. Yeah. And, and, and Jack was driving, Jack the, the was naval driving. pilot. Yeah. And I found it ironic that he's, I'm so sorry, Jack, a horrendous driver. That's not true. That's not true. That's true. Oof. But it's not. But, but it's he, not. Could, he could fly planes. Yeah. I don't know. Like, there's, you know. Levels. And he shit. talked to me about flying planes. And I told him I couldn't do it because I'm colorblind. He said, I, he said, I can't. Yeah, red. red. Really? Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. he, he goes, as yeah, long as you're not red, green, colorblind, I said, my guy. <laughs> I said, my guy, I'm out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just overall, I mean, this this podcast is really just going to be a, a time for stories, maybe some takeaways, things we learned, and um, hopefully we can make more fun of Mike's sister. This happened. I mean, I have one question. What are those? You shut the fuck up! <laughs> 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 for the love of I actually, I actually feel, I, I feel bad for her because she, she mentioned she felt like she was babysitting on the trip, and she's not. <laughs> she just might be right. She's she not too great. far off, but she definitely has a side to her that is like. It's a it's youthful. No, she loves us. She invited us to her graduation. No, she invited you. She specifically said I can't come. She said I can't come. Yeah, but she didn't mean it. She I hit did. her up after. No, I hit her up after, and she was very specific that you should go to her graduation. So, I'm, did you guys almost get kicked out, or how did you guys manage to stay at this <clears throat> resort? Wait, at one point, we, we had, almost did. Get we had kicked. we had one issue. We had one very serious. So, like by the way, like I don't know how he's got this planned. We didn't discuss it at all because, to be honest with you, I, I've personally been recovering. I've slept for the past day and a half. We really didn't get much sleep. It was as much as Mau. So Maui is this island of just like beautiful splendor. There's nice beaches, four seasons. People spe like save a lot of money to go there on like honeymoons. And Joe that type Rogan of thing. was there. We we hung out. Very no, briefly, didn't. very fucking. You said briefly. what up to Joe? To Joe here's Rogan. what happened in all the places. Bro, here's what, yes. we're, all the places we're walking by, and you know, Mike. I don't know. All right, if you don't know this about Mike, everything he sees and everything he hears, he makes a joke out of. <laughs> Quite literally, every the man doesn't stop talking. I love it. I'm thoroughly entertained 24 seven. Did he deliver on this interaction? Oh, yeah. oh, oh yeah. good. So, there we go. So we're walking. We're walking. He goes. He's like going from one sentence to the next, just like, oh, look at the rock over there. Look at this over there. And he goes, hey, look at that guy. Looks like Joe Rogan. And, I'm like, and I and I double take it. I'm like, <laughs> wait a second. I'm like, yeah, I, that I is Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck what? is he doing? Just in his cabana. Uh, Cabana's like locked up. He has his AirPods in. No, 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 wait. First, he was snoozing, passed out. Passed out. I've dude. never seen anyone fall asleep harder in my life. I go, wow. that dude is high as hell right now. Wait, I'm bro. sorry. This is in the lobby. In the uh, outside, he's, he's in like a private, like rented poolside cabana with okay. with his family. By yeah, the way, respect. so like basically, let me put it this way: every possible, do not enter, do not disturb. If you come near me, I will chop your dick off. Sign right. was on. Yeah, I've seen cabana, him kick things, bro. bro cabana closed. Man sleeping. Chair reclined. Headphones in. Daughter there. No <laughs> approach you're in whatsoever. The, you're in the den. Yeah. In so, the den, So we, 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 we knew... It was yeah, going to be tricky. Was, probably wasn't the best time, yeah. right? And, and by the way, Joe Rogan's doing it right. Like, it's his vacation. Man's KO'd. I wish I had the wherewithal to do that, but instead I was a drunk idiot. <laughs> so I go up, we talk, we talk, have a conversation. We're like, should we say hi? I don't know. It's that weird thing. Personally, I hate approaching celebrities. Yeah, yeah. I, pu I, I pushed. I pushed on it. I said, listen, he talks about on, uh, about you on the show from time to time. You know him. You've hunt, you've seen him before. <laughs> and by the way, I was like, if we go back past again, and he's awake and he doesn't look that closed off. Let's make a move. Yeah. So we went back. He was awake. I think he was like eating something. He still had his ear pods in. And we walk up to the tent, and some and some kids go by us, <laughs> and they go, "Come on, guys, don't be those guys." Like yeah, they didn't they, know, they, they didn't know like who we were. They, they know they see they see what we're about to do, and yeah. they, they go, "Don't be that don't guy." Don't be those guys. And Mike's like, "I have to be that." Guy. <laughs> we are. So we, those guys. Yeah. we scoot around the back. 
You snuck into we the back no, of the tent? No, we, no, we yeah. circumnavigate. So, yeah, is the okay. word I use. A reach, a reach around. Yeah. And, then, and then at this point, I'm like, this is not good, bro. He's with his family. AirPods. He's, by the way, probably studying like for his next guest on his podcast. He's like reading something on his phone. You know, like actual podcast hosts do, like research right. and shit like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. we, uh, we, 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 we <laughs> choose to ignore that here. Uh, Mike goes, Joe. No response. This is fucking AirPods are in. Yeah. <laughs> now, now he's tapping him. He's getting physical with him. Oh, Joe, easy. I wasn't Joe, shaking. Joe, I just gave him a quick Joe, tap. Look at me. And so Joe turns back and uh, it's really funny. He was wearing those glasses that make your eyes look massive. You know, so he's like, like reading like, glasses. Yeah. Guy. yeah. And, and he's like, oh, and so he recognized me. And uh, then we had a conversation for like. I, by the way, the, he, the moment he recognized him and then looked at me, he was like, oh, it's like, like he was he was not in any way upset because the approach. I know the way he describes it. I know if you're watching this, you probably think like my approach. My approach is actually pretty good. I'm, I'm good at building relationships. I know what I'm fucking doing in that situation. I approach him slowly. I say, yo, what's up? Give him a little tapper. And he was like, yo, boys, what's up? He's like, so I saw you train with Shannon Britt. Like we got into a full conversation. Everything worked exactly the way wow. I thought. This I is, knew I it was going to go this. that I way. It, it, was, it was, it was, I had a moment where I realized, ah, Joe Rogan's the coolest man alive. Yeah. It, 100%. I, it, it just fine. It clicked, dude. I we, Again, he had a conversation. It, it was almost like a mini podcast. He's like, yo, how was training with Shannon? Like, yeah, yeah how, was the, how was the fight? Uh, two points, all that shit. Um, which, by the way, the appeal is going through right maybe now. tonight. Yeah, who knows? Um, but yeah, it was really good. And uh, then we let him do his thing. That's amazing. It was the way I was the way I was thinking about it. Like we were in our cabana, like we were doing our thing. Like that was the first day we rented like a big poolside cabana, and and he was like, "I mean, should we? Should we?" And I was like, "We could not do it." Or by the way, like, "Fuck it, we can fucking do it, dude." Let's like, let's just go say what up. And all we wanted to do, by the way, was say what up. And we said what up, and we were literally turning to leave, and he was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa." like you trained with Shannon." Like, is this the first time you met Joe? No. Second, second, yeah. okay. I met him outside the uh, the comedy store after his performance once, and I will say his vibe was completely different. I would just like sure. any other human. He just threw down. Just you know, what I'm you saying, just do a comedy show. You're on one. You're you're ready to go. Yeah. He's hanging out with his friends. This year, this time he was just he was chilling. Yeah. Wolfgang Puck was also there. Wow. Uh, you guys were attracting greatness. The Wolfgang, it's, true, the four, yeah. it's the Four Seasons Maui. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's mm-hmm. a, it's a great hotel. But, but he was he was very cool, and he was yeah, it was dope. Besides that, though, yeah, we did have one. We did have one issue with uh, with a uh, I call him a heckler. Oh, uh, can I can I lead into this story? Of yeah, you own it, bro. All right, all right. So again, you know Mike, bro. Especially when Mike has got a, just a little bit of alcohol in him, he could be a little loud. Mm-hmm. People will use the word loud to describe Mike mm-hmm. sometimes. Again, it depends what type of person you are. Because, like, if you're like me or anything like me, you probably enjoy a good entertainer. And preface. Also, anyone else that was in the room with us that I was really paying attention to at this time. So there was an audience. We're at the the bar. Which is bad. It's 11 p.m. It's the fourth season. So there's one old couple at the bar, blatant PDA, just way excessive, making out with each other. And then it's it's us and a couple of our friends. Me, you, Abby, people we met at the hotel, a couple, their daughters, and and the bartenders. And we're just, we're talking, doing our thing. Mike goes on his. One of his rants. And I think he's doing a Russian accent, which I have actually pulled oh, up shit. here. And I, and, <laughs> and I want to play because uh, Bored Hungover Mike is one of my favorite people on the planet. So I just started filming him one morning. This is a work in progress. Again, he, just, he does this for fun. I just happened to witness it and film it. I don't even think he knows I was filming. See what I just heard one. The Russian propelled grenade, it's an RPG. It's very effective against the... Panzer and the American Abrams tank. <laughs> very, very effective. From up close and in person, it can be detrimental to their defenses. <laughs> bro, bro, for five minutes, he's just doing this Russian accent talking about Panzer tanks. <laughs> Who's that chick? Just uh, gotta, oh, yeah. That's neither here yeah. nor there. Okay. Or really anywhere, to okay. be honest. I didn't see anything. So, so he's doing this accent at the bar. And everyone's laughing. The one guy's like, yo, that's not, you sound like a drunk Irish man. The He's bartender, like, by the way. The bartenders are involved. Everybody's fucking chilling. I'm on a rampage, dude. And, and I'm and I'm looking around because I notice, you know, Mike, when he gets excited, he gets a little, like he wants more people to get involved, which is great. Mm-hmm. Yep. It was great. Everyone was involved mm-hmm. except the old PDA couple. And I'm, and I'm kind of clocking them up for my peripherals and I see they're getting a little more aggravated and aggravated. And I, I know they're the type of people that won't say anything until they explode, mm-hmm. until they blow up. Was it like mid smooch and they were getting into yeah, it? Yeah, they were making yeah. out. By the, way, out. I, they, they, by the way, I saw them too. They were like, being, they were being like, 
very over PDA. Like they were full makeout sessions. Like even my sister said to me, she was like, after, all right, you, you keep it going. Keep no, it, going. it was just, I don't want to jump in yet. It was just like, it was a little unnecessary, but whatever. They're doing their thing. We're doing our thing. No problem. Yeah. Go ahead. Slap and lips. so, you know, Mike reaches a point where it's, 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 it's peak Mike is the only way to put I it. I saw a pregnant woman walk by. And I was like, wow, look at that species over there. She's gestating some sort of organism <laughs> or some some complete and utter bullshit. And, you know? Bro, it's like this couple, they had like a countdown. In their heads, they're like, all right, three, two, one. Both of them stood up. Same time. Boom. And they're like, what is wrong with you? And the guy's like, you know what, buddy? You're being so loud. And the lady turns to Mike and says an unforgettable line that pretty much set the tone of the entire trip. Ooh. She turns to him. She looks him in the eye. She goes... Have you no cooth, no class, no class? Mike, without skipping a beat, doesn't hesitate, doesn't break character. He goes, zero. <laughs> Absolutely none. Not even an ounce. If there was a negative number, that's how much cooth I have. And bro, you can imagine, like, that's not the type of response you she was looking to get Or that you. she was looking yeah. for. She, she got, was looking she for diffused. a very specific response, which was, ma'am, I am, I am so sorry about Excuse me. She goes, she goes, have you no This was the timing of it. Cooth. Have you no cooth? Zero. Absolutely. <laughs> As in, not not even an ounce. Bro, I, it was, it was, it was one of my favorite moments of Mike in my life because I've never seen anyone react with that amount of like confidence and, and uh, calmness. And so the guy gets mad because obviously this is not the react. He's look, they're looking for an apology or something or some sort of uh, retreat. Mike. Listen, buddy, he go, he you're go, not the guy I want to do this with. Now, r keep in mind, this guy's, I would say, probably late 50s, early 60s. Yeah. He's got a bit of a hunch. He, he's also dr hammered. He's hammered. He's slurring his speech. So so they go to walk away, and Mike, Mike's, Mike's still on. He's like, I, I'm, you know, there's, no, there's nothing here for you. I have no coup for you. And the guy comes up to Mike and he, he approaches him. Did he grab you on the shoulder? He got close. He, he like, he approached he, me. He, 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 he came up to Mike. Mike's sitting down, by the way, and I hate, I'm watching this. And I'm right next to him, and I hate the one person standing up, one person sitting down scenario. It's usually a bad situation for the sitter. Facts. So, for the most, most of this, in this particular circumstance, there was nothing he could have done. He could have dropped him from a fucking airplane. He still would, it would have been proper. <laughs> the guy goes, you don't want to do this with me, buddy. And at this point- It was Batman. I got my, <laughs> it was Christian Bale. I got my feet kicked up, and I thought, I thought I'd use my newfound powers. So I look at him, and I go, sir- before you do this, I have to let you know I'm a professional boxer. <laughs> oh, you threw that on him. Yeah, like, no, no, just in that voice, calm as fuck. And then he turns to me. And what came out of the man's mouth <laughs> uh -oh, next. Oh, no. <laughs> will be written about by scholars <laughs> wow. for years to come. You think my response to the have you no cooth question was trickery and sorcery. What this man said next changed the course of time and history. And humanity. We it it created a rift in space time <laughs> that then represented the remainder of our evening. Four hours discussing just this one thing. Tell me. I go, sir. I do have to let you know I am a professional boxer. He turns to me, locks eyes, and he goes, <laughs> he goes, I just had. <laughs> he goes. He goes. I just had spinal surgery. <laughs> oh, and so and like literally, Ooh. but but like, and so we're we just both go like this. We go, Ugh. no, 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 not even like that. But like, how do you respond to that? It's called I, a classic I, smoke bomb. We we talk about yeah. these. We thought we are the master at smoke bombs. Have you no cooth? Zero negative integer. Apply it, lady. Smoke bomb. Smoke bomb. She's just like, where am I? What's what universe yeah. is this? And Does he just threw a flashbang. A flashbang. Concussion grenade. Just Both me and LP go down to our seats. I go, I'm like, what? I go, I go. Then what are you? Why are you doing this? <laughs> what are you doing? So this dude, he yeah. just got done telling me, he he goes, I have no spinal column. <laughs> I am an exoskeleton. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we have no idea how to handle this situation. His wife like drags him away. And then we're like, yo, did we just get attacked by a, a frosty? By a by one of those wavy <laughs> arm freaking, inflatable yeah. arm guys that they put outside car dealerships. Yeah. And then for the next probably three to four hours after that, we, we had conjecture over what this man really was. He had no spine. He was some sort of spineless, single-celled organism. With, yeah. no, with no structural integrity. Wow. We, can't, we, can't, we thought his wife might be some sort of mm. puppeteer, mm. and she's really him, and she's controlling all his movements. Or that maybe he's a he's a he's a blizzard from Dairy Queen and he's I, just some sort of I thought slushy. to myself, she said what she said, but in many ways she could have come up to me and said, Have you no soul? 
Do you know what it's like to live your life as a Danish? <laughs> this man was a raspberry <laughs> pastry. Literally trying wow. to attack us with no spine. It, what, what I envision is a water bear. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Have you ever seen a water no, bear? No, but it sounds. It's, it's, look it up. Look up a water bear. That's what. This is what I see. It very well could At be a water bear. At some point, we got to the point where he had a hollow bone structure and he was actually <laughs> able to take flight. This might that's well yes. be yes. yes. <laughs> for sure, bro. I got like, bro. We we were sure this man like, sir. What's is there a problem? He goes, there is a problem. The only problem is I'm not <laughs> nailed down to this floor because this breeze is going to blow me away. <laughs> At some point, he 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 was a paper, paper airplane, airplane. Yeah. bro. In wow. our minds, he could have been fucking anything. And so we're sitting there. And by the way, my first question was because because I told Logan, I'm like, yo, every like there are very few moments where I have the breakdown in tears, crying laughter. You have to really get to my soul. I cried, laughed for probably an hour after this happened. I was yeah. I was suffocating on my own. This tears, is this dude. is the thing I'll say about you guys that I really love and respect. All the drinking that like lowers your life expectancy, the laughter raises it and neutralizes. Oh, neutralized. It. So you guys are good. Like yes. you would have lived to seventy, down to sixty, you back up at seventy. This part we weren't even. We weren't even. I was not. I was bone cold sober. He was like I maybe easy, too drunk. Easy bone cold sober. We were six hours into. I think just you're drunk. Shot after I think shot. you're drunk. No, he that. may have been. He may right have now. been sober, but if you were sober, you literally have a stomach made of iron. <laughs> Because that's mm. impossible. We we took 43 shots before this happened. And by the way, that's the amount of shots I would want to take before I find out I'm talking to a human ketchup package. <laughs> fucking, okay. Yeah. This man had that's... no fucking structure. <laughs> he was an anomaly. And by the way, after we had this conversation, I'm not so sure he wasn't a figment of both of our imaginations. We don't know bro. he exists. He yeah. really exists. It, it was, uh, what kind of man, like... It's fighting time. And he tells me he doesn't have spinal surgery. Where where are you going with that? Yeah, what's your, and, what are you doing? And then on our part, how does it go from uh, uh, normal surgery to like, again, you got hollow bones and you can fly. You can That's the thing. Flight. It could have been a flex, right? It's like no punch that you throw at me could do any damage. I don't have a Facts. spine. I'm, Facts. I'm, I'm jello right now. Facts. Yes. You know, I'm a jello human being. So Abby, Mike's sister was uh, slightly upset. She's a really good person yeah, and yeah. she's got like a good heart and she was... And she's she, corporate. She, yeah, she's, she's corporate. fucking so corporate. She dude. was a little upset that we may have ruined their vacation with, uh -oh. with our laughter and mm -hmm. our fun. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, Mike wanted to make it right. So you, you did, you did see the couple the next day. Uh -oh. I said to my sister that I will spend the majority of the rest of it because I did feel bad. I did people spend their whole yeah, lives. Yeah, you don't want any so bad vibes I, on Maui. I didn't. You know and saying? by the way, do you want to know what I was guilty of? What? Having a little bit too much fun. And I do, and I truly do feel bad for it. None of it was, I didn't mean to cause any harm. I didn't want them to have a bad time. I got a little caught up in the moment. I had an audience of bartenders and other drunkards. And I felt, you, you know. felt at home. Yeah, I felt at home. Like I was, it was audience stuff. But I spent the, the next couple of days looking for these two people so that I could express a, a very sincere apology. And I did not see them. Until day four, which was really a continuation of day three because we didn't slept sleep. So when I saw them, I had no brain. Oh. So like he had no spine that first time. When I saw them, no brain. I saw them and I literally, I saw him. I went up to him and I'm like, yo, I could say something right now or I could dip out to this left exit off the Chick-fil-A exit 17 right here. Boom, gone, dude. Yeah, he, he never did, to yeah, be heard he, of again. He dipped out. You never saw him ever nope, again. didn't see him again. If you're watching this show, spineless man and your fucking couthful wife, I am so sorry. And I'll send you a basket of pastries to remind remind you of who you really are. They, she also like <laughs> uh, they they got lucky that that they're they're happened to be dealing with a linguistics expert mm -hmm. in Mike. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and I'm sure when you I mean the word couth, I've said that on this show before and people are like, oh, is that a word? Like what is couth? Yeah, that was the first time I've heard it. Yeah, so so I mean you gotta like you gotta know what you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. but that was that was one thing. The security guards came over afterwards and the the bartenders backed us up. They're like, nah, they're no causing no problems. <laughs> they're just um, like, hey guys, have a pina colada, all right? Exactly. <laughs> Chill out. Um so that was one thing that happened. Yeah. It probably produced the most laughter. But oh, I think we sure. I think there are more you know, applicable moments. Uh, I don't know how deep you're trying to get. Like, you're trying to go balls deep on this episode. I mean, because we got some fucking, we got some like, crazy shit that like went literally. Down, bro. Like, are we talking like actual? I, ask Logan. I need permission from the boss, dude. I can't just go down those fucking streets. I can't even start to tell you where they. I, end. I heard you 
can't get an STD in Hawaii. That's true. That's true. That's yeah, a scientific I've fact because of the location in mm-hmm, the Pacific Ocean. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. unable to No transfer. poisonous yeah. spiders and no STDs. Those yeah. are the only two things. Anything else? Flying potatoes? No, yeah. it exists. You gotta watch out. No STDs. Um, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe, we, maybe we could get into it a little bit. But first, I want to I want to yeah, uh, bookend thing, that story with it with a... A good story that uh, shows what kind of effect we can have p- p- on people if we do it the right way. Okay. Um, I like this kind of stuff. So one morning there, I went to go work out. And uh, this guy who was working the desk at the gym, he's like, yo, you want me to hold pads for you for boxing? I was like, sure, that, that, wow. that'd be great. He's like, yeah, I box. I've been boxing. I, I have a couple of MMA fights. I'm a professional boxer. Cool. So I ended up uh, doing pad work with this guy for like for like an hour. I forgot how much I love boxing. It was the first time I, I had hit pads since the fight. And just just having a grand old time. Kids are coming in and they're like watching us and they're like, oh my God, it's this Logan. He's 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 so much bigger in person, which is the number one comment I get. But it was cool to like uh make their day. And then what I found out is I, I made this guy's day too, the one that held pads. Because the next day he texted me. We exchanged information because I was maybe gonna do it again. He just said, uh, his name's Chase. Shout out Chase if you're watching this. He said, I just wanted to say it was great meeting you and sorry if my vibe was a little off. Been battling some hard demons lately. Just getting away from the job I hate for a minute and getting to train with you honestly inspired me to wake the fuck up and make something happen for myself. Mm. Anyway, no joke. I put my two weeks notice in at the Four Seasons yesterday after wow. my shift. Thank you for the inspiration. Dude, yeah. look at that. Man's, goosebumps. man's quit. Goosebumps, yeah. bro. Yeah. Man's quit just because mm-hmm. of, 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 by the way, what was a really good session I had with him. Good stuff, Chase. Shout out Chase, man. Um, take some balls to do that and like being able to, uh, being able to kickstart or jumpstart people's dreams is like it's it's probably one of the things i find most fulfilling in life which is like why the mm-hmm. whole maverick movement resonate resonates mm-hmm. with me so much because i just feel like people are vastly underestimating their own potential so hopefully he did, finds something did that me. wake anything up in you or did you not, already not, know yeah, that nothing, nothing i already knew but it's uh, i told mike you we see these comments all the time right about how we've inspired and motivated and absolutely. changed life absolutely but seeing it firsthand quite literally like instant gratification type shit is uh he just bounced. That's incredible. He quit his job, bro. Yeah. That's yeah. It's respect, dude. At the four seasons, respect. Yeah. You got to do it. You got to take the leap. So we also cool. we also had. A, <clears throat> there's a funny thing about being at like these resorts. I think a lot of times we like rent houses to like avoid this situation. But we also had this other situation where it's like the like cordiality, cordialness of taking photos with celebrities, and it was something that was it was almost like a similar to like a Rogan, except not with another celebrity. But it was like watching people come up and like ask for photos. We had this one lady. She came up to him. She was like, sir, sir, I'm a big fan. Took a picture with him. The next day she's like, sir, the picture didn't come out very good. Can I, can we try again? (laughs) The fourth day she comes up, she goes, sir, I'm ready for our final picture together. I'm like, lady, (laughs) it's not really how it works. Like you're not, we're not collecting a scrapbook. Like on the fifth day, I was like, she's probably going to come back in disguise. Hello, sir. I've never met you before. Can we please take a picture? (laughs) You're in Maui though, bro. You, anything goes. Yeah. yeah. Did you take it? Did you take the final? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. He's, I've never seen him say no to anybody. Scrapbook. Oh, oh, he's never said no to anybody, but there was one this one. Trip. We had a, we had a problem with a fan. I, I, once again, I like to study these manners of like how fans like approach and shit like that. And everybody's the 95% of people are like, huh? oh my God, are you looking Paul? <laughs> can I take a picture with you? And like, he's just, and it's like really like, kind of like, uh, like pulled back and like a little scared about doing it. This one fucking kid, probably like 16, 17 years old. He's got braces, like total, bro, total bro. His ball shot comes up and grabs him by the back of the neck. We're walking to the beach and someone like someone grabs my neck like this. And I'm like, Oh, it's, it's a homie. Like or it's I, me I, or I honestly yeah. thought it was like maybe Joe, like wanting to say what's up before I like that. Maybe I'm being hopeful, but <laughs> Joe <laughs> grabs me by the oh. back of the neck. I'm like, Oh, it's a homie. I turn around. <laughs> I have no fucking idea who this kid is, bro. And well, it's it's a hard grip. He shakes me. And he's like, yo, I'm a big fan. And I go, what the fuck did no, you just no, do? No, but to he me, bro? also he also didn't say, I'm a big fan. He was like, he was like, yo, Logan Paul, what's up, man? He's a huge fan of you. Like, like, was that kind of uh, kidding? He's being a little schnoob. And I and uh my sister, like, and he went straight to like attack mode. He's like, don't ever fucking touch me like that ever again. And then I, I gave him his lesson too, because I, you know, I like to give people takeaways. I said, don't ever do that to anyone ever again. Yeah, yeah bro. And, and then we walked away. You could get but, stabbed straight up in general. Yeah. Shame, but yo, my I'm a I'm a primal person. I have okay. I have I have primal instincts. And uh, if you look even in, in the wild, animals kill each other That's what I'm by saying. grabbing them by the back of the That's neck. That's what I'm saying, yeah. And I was grabbed by the back of the neck mm-hmm. by a stranger. Yeah. 
in Hawaii on a vacation that I'm supposed to be enjoying. So yeah, I, I snapped, bro. I like don't don't grab me there if you don't know me. Yeah, that is that, that's a vulnerable spot, bro. Could've that is where animals hand. get killed in the wild. He could have <laughs> lost his hand. I had scuba equipment. I went. Was he? Kid mm-hmm. turns around. He goes, "Don't ever, ever do that to me ever again." The kid goes. I have no spine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at that point, like, wow, at that point, you just, a second. Yeah, that, what is going on on this island right now, dude? <laughs> at that um, point, you just swim one direction away. No, another thing, and, I, and by the way, you take this wherever you want. I'll provide the horse for you to gallop on. You stare it. We uh, Maui's an island of just, as I said, splendor and and wonder. You don't like horses, Danny? No, I like <laughs> Maui's Great an analogy. island of splendor and wonder. <clears throat> And when you go there, you usually relax. You know, you do the spa thing. They play the little ukulele for you and your family. Not me and Logan. No. We found the only series of dive bars <laughs> <laughs> on the you only island. Found the clubs. You club okay, rats. they call it the triangle, and it's like three or four bars, dive bars. And these are the kind of bars that, like, by the way, these are the local bars, like t- almost like on some like tour Saint Welcome type shit. There's fights there. There's big like Samoan bouncer. Like it's the it's the Wild West, right? Mm-hmm. And so we show up there. We go to this one called what was it called the uh, Dog and Duck. Dog and Duck. We go to the Dog and Duck. <laughs> and like I said, here comes the horse galloping. I don't know. We clearly have something to talk about here. We, there was a great DJ that played incredible music, which I wasn't <laughs> expecting. I mean, what you you gave me? You gave me a, a mini horse. Yeah, I know. What do you want from me? I just felt like maybe you would take the uh, supplies I was giving you and just hammer it home. We met girls there. That's we that's hung out. Entertaining. Wow. Yeah. We also and I I do this. I I thoroughly enjoy this. We ended up at a local's house. That's where I was going. Two nights in a row. That's where I was going. I have this thing where I like to jolt myself back into the real world mm-hmm. and so bro if i go to if i go to a college mm-hmm. i'll show up at a random like someone's house and yeah, just like, like take shots with yeah yeah so we ended up at the at a local's house one night and then another night and there was like i have actually have a video here <laughs> nope nope that that in. nope oh wait yeah that in. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh. so we go from the four seasons to this dude. <laughs> trying to microwave shit refrigerator pizza and there's what is that, it bro? Like nose. Fuck it. Oh, you just said. Oh, I didn't care. I was drunk. I was gonna eat it. And you just microwave yeah, it on top. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is probably a little extra flavor floating around in there. But imagine Damn. how ridiculous that is. Like, you the dive bars are one thing, but then we'll get we'll just get fucked up, yeah, and you, kids will come up to us, and be like, "Yeah, bro, we're throwing an after down the street. You want to come with us?" And we're any normal. Like person of elevated stature would say, "Yeah, man. Like, sorry, I, yeah, I don't gotta know. go get the culture. I don't know who the fuck you guys up. are. Mm-hmm. We just hop in the back seat with them." Facts. Mm-hmm. Now I'm a man of the people, bro. And mm-hmm. actually, in my phone, I have pictures of all their IDs and license plates, just in case I'm paranoid. So I'm, I'm like <laughs> drunk and I'm taking pictures of their information in case they killed you. Uh, in case something happens. Oh, okay. Is uh, that why you handed me the license plate? I thought you were just playing with it. Oh no, I was taking pictures of it. <laughs> got a five digit vanity plate. Wow. Yeah, they they have the three in the front and then the numbers in the back. Mm. Cuz you um, know, the the first thing you want to do when you wake up dead is make sure you have the license plate number of your of your yeah. son. <laughs> well, I'm not saying these kids would try to kill me, but I don't know. I'm all, I got to be a little bit cautious at right. least. Right. It's like imagine my corporate sister, she's back at the four seasons, like probably about to get to wake up for like a jog at 4:30 a.m. for like a morning jog before the spa or something like that and we're still shotgunning beers at some Locals house. You say your sister's <laughs> corporate, and I know she is. And Abby, I know you are, and you're way professional and stuff. But yo, she hit me in the face. She punched in the she face. Punched me in the face. She punched Logan in the face. She told mm. me she was going to do it, and then mm. she did it right away. And I actually respected her for that. That's how we were raised. We don't. We don't. But then in, yeah. the, in the in the following sentence, she told me she loves wearing turtlenecks. That she's that kind of girl. <laughs> she's me. So then I said, I said to her, I said, "Oh, you do strike me as a turtleneck person." <laughs> yep. You also strike me as a turtle. <laughs> then I said, you also strike you me. You also strike me. Because <laughs> you literally just hit me in the fucking face. <laughs> Do we have that video? I, I have that. I'm I sure you have it too. somewhere. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. This this is like, I took a picture of Mike one day after we went to this fish house called Mama's Mama's Fish House. This is about day, day five. A- end, end of the trip. End of the trip. It, it, this is a pretty good representation. Of, oh my god! Not a, not, not, nothing left in the tank, dude. Yeah. That's just, just dad. And by the way, I wasn't making that face. That that was the face I had for the whole night. That's how I walked into the restaurant. We went to oh my goodness. We went to the beach pretty much like this um, one morning, and something about hopping in the ocean and, and the salt water is just like incredibly rejuvenating, mm-hmm. and it almost like 
takes away your hangover. Yep. So we attempted that one morning. I had a beautiful swim in the ocean. Oh, yeah. Probably swam around for like an hour. Mike is a great floater. I don't know. Like he, can, this man can just float mm-hmm. on his back, which is probably why he loves Lazy River so much. But I just yep. saw him floating, and we're talking. I look at Mike. He looks at me. We high five each other. We're just like, this is great, huh? Mm-hmm. Such a nice like we stress free. We time. didn't know on the front end of this vacation if it was the right play. Like we, we we even when we landed, we're like, did we make a mistake? We're in Maui. It's like a honeymoon type trip. Or are there even girls here that want like that are worth like all this shit? We went through all these calculations. <laughs> We get into the water on this day and we look and we high five and I'm like, we made the right choice, bro. We made the right choice. So did you guys come away with any I'll be honest with you, that story's got a little bit more to it. The story's not done, Spencer. Oh, okay. We get out of the water. We walk our we walk ourselves back out out onto the beach. And by the way, one of the hardest things to do in Maui or any other tropical spot is get chairs. Doesn't matter if it's by a pool, by the beach, whatever. We find Four open chairs right on the water, dude. Right on the beach. Beach front. Mm-hmm. Beach front, front water row. chairs. We walk up to him. We lay down. I look at him again. I go, can't beat this, brother. Can't beat this. Nope, nope, nope. All of a sudden, a man walks over to us with his Four Seasons shirt. He goes, hey, boys. That may be the wrong accent. <laughs> hey, bros. <laughs> Get off the chairs, please. He, he comes up and he goes, he goes, uh, boys, um. I'm gonna have to ask you to move off these chairs. They're actually all reserved. And I look around. I go, there's, "Brother, there's there's a good chunk of chairs here." <laughs> I go, well, you know, can we just use them? And he's like, "Nah, it's not the right guest experience. Like, we like them to be nice and clean when the next guest oh, comes." What? I'm like, "All right, so dude, just called you dirty." Dirt. I'm like, "I'm like, bro, like, but there's really a lot of chairs." And he goes, "Well, yeah, that's because you can't swim in the water." <laughs> I go, "I go, I'm sorry, sir. Can you? What did you just say? Repeat what you what? said one more time." And he goes, "Yeah, man, because of the pollution, bro." He goes, "There's a." Oversaturation of shit in the water. What? Didn't you read the signs? Did you read the signs on the way in? And I go and I look up and there's all these red signs. I go, I'll be honest, man. I have been unconsciously drunk for the past (laughs) week. I don't even know where I am right now. So no, I didn't read the fucking signs. That said, so basically he walked over. He said, get this is after we were high fiving about the quality of the vacation. He said, get the fuck off the chairs. You've been swimming in shit for the past hour. (laughs) And I was like, well. That literally just 180'd my entire my entire thoughts, sir. Wow. I know you guys are having a blast. Please leave. What's going on? With, You've been in why, sewage. Why is Maui? This is the ocean. Why so is it? The, it was because of a lot of rain or something like that that happened, and then the next day it was cleared up. But he goes, he goes. It's it's probably because of the fecal matter. I'm like fecal matter where? He's like in the ocean. Look at the signs. And it, the pollution level is like three times what it's oh supposed to be. And dude, I get it. I'm like, dude, are we going to be like g- g- glowing green or yeah. something? Like growing third arms or no spine? Are you guys no just going to Then the craziest part of that whole story is two days later, I'm going through my DM requests. Oh, yeah. From oh, yeah. people. <laughs> and I had posted a video of us about to lay on the chairs at the beach. And I see a message from some girl that says, saw you guys lay on the chairs. Also saw you guys get kicked out right after. And I'm like, Oh, so she saw it happening. And then I look down and there's another message that says, you can have my chair as long as you let me sit on your face. There we go. Which ha- which happens with Mike. I've seen this happen at least five times. Yeah, now. I've, I've seen the DMs and, too. And these are like pretty women. Yeah, she was she was great. She was great. She, she was really pretty. Um, have you ever, did you take out on so, the offer? So I, so I, I accepted the request and, and, and uh, what happened? I was like, I was like, um, I don't remember what I said, but I'm sure it was clever and witty and, you know, delivered by a handsome. Anyways, <laughs> it, I, you know, I said something to her. We didn't end up meeting up with her because she and she was like, I don't know, maybe like 10th or 12th in the queue at the time. And uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, we didn't meet her. But I but I she she uh, messaged me every day now asking me when I'm leaving Hawaii. <laughs> She's messaged me the past three days. Hey, you got, you got to tell still, her we left. Yeah, man. I probably should do that. <laughs> That's sad. We made we made a lot of friends there too, Spence. That's we did. good. We did. There was a couple that got married there that we we bonded with. Um, they they said they got Mauied at the end. It kind of made me want to punch him in the yeah, face. Horrible. Yeah, that's, that's horrible. Uh, that's and bad. you know what I said to him? I said, hopefully you guys don't end up getting divorced. <laughs> In Denver? Yeah, like, like Denver. I just said it back because I was like, if you're going to give me some yeah. corny ass shit, I'm going to hit you right fucking back with it, dude. <laughs> Hopefully you don't get Denvorced. Yeah, that's not good, guys. But they had pretty daughters that were cool. That yeah. was yeah, dope. So the only form of communication I had with you guys is I said, you know, I was looking for something. I said, hey, hope y'all are enjoying Hawaii, boys. Three exclamations. Uh, this is Sunday. <laughs> and uh, Logan, Logan said back, it's nice. And fun, and, and and Mike just didn't hit me back. So I was like, 
I'll see you guys on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Andre. I remember you saying that, and I remember thinking, "Wow, what a nice, a nice guy." Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I was hoping for like a little conversation or something, but I wasn't disappointed. I knew you guys were, you know, you were having it. I think. I think one thing, one of my big takeaways was from the trip was that, uh, like. It felt good to put the phones down. I remember mm-hmm, there were certain mm-hmm. days, and a lot of people asked us, they're like, when's the video coming out from this trip? I'm like, there isn't one. And they they were trying to wrap their brains around it. But I remember certain days would go by, and, and to your point of not responding to that text, we would I would realize, damn, I haven't looked at my phone in four, six hours, bro. Mm-hmm. And by the way, my humor and his humor were at, we're at a level that were unbeknownst to man. And I've been say, trying to like, yeah. I've been trying to correlate and see because we were living so much and like sucking everything in and like calculating in our brains as opposed to being our, yeah. like, I mean, you guys weren't stressed. You, that, you might, know that, might, stressed. that might be the bigger one though. I don't know what it was, but I, I felt I was at a, like, he's, he's always incredibly funny. I'm like you, like I'm, I'm fun. But like I was hitting a, a, a level of comedy I had never hit crazy. Before. You guys were crazy. Flow state. And, and with yes. both of us, with, yes. flow state. and with both of us together, dude, there was not a person we could talk to that by the end of the conversation, like these guys are the most the most hilarious people I've ever met in my life. Right. That's uh, it. You guys need to. Uh, my challenge to you is translate that into everyday life here. My question Ooh. is, my que- I get it. But my question is, can we? Because you yeah. said there's, I, I will yeah. do, and you do your best. Maybe you reach some level of it, right? Mm-hmm. But we were in a flow state. I think a lot of it because we, to your point, we didn't have any duties. We would wake up. We would, we would eat some you, insane you, breakfast. But you still, you, you still were active on social media. A, 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 I, a little I bit. Didn't, I did not. Bit. I did not post one. Nothing. I, I posted one story of you catching a frisbee. You, you like, and you was like a repo. Oh no. Yeah. yeah right. Did you, it. here's, here's the thing. I know we've had these conversations. Were you stressed at all about anything that you had to do? Nothing. That nothing. That's what, that's what I'm getting at. I think if you can find that ability to cut away, all, like all the things that you don't enjoy, like to the fullest, and you can do that here. I bet you guys can yeah, but have is that, that realistic? here every day. Is that possible? Yeah. Yeah, I think so because I remember you. We were talking about this a few weeks ago, and you were talking about how you're like stressed because you got so much yeah, going yeah, on. Yeah. I feel like if you dumbed it down a little bit, no. But I'm saying like, but there's no way to turn it off. Like we, it was off completely. The only I remember the, sh- the you just have to make yourself not available to everything, or maybe it's one day a week or something like that. I don't know, but I remember the fe- the the feeling of the stress leaving as soon as we walked off the plane. We met like two girls, literally like right when we got off the plane. There's a video on TikTok that I think is going semi-viral about, remember the drunk kid that came yes. up to me? Yes, oh my God. I think it, David sent it to me. David, how did you see that video? The video on TikTok of the guy coming up to me? A friend sent it to me. Okay, so a friend sent it to you. Yeah, because they know, I know, they know I live there. Ah, ah, but how'd they find it? Was it on the For You page? This kid was was annihilated. I mean, he was annihilated. I want to see this. I Pull it up. This and so, but but like that was one of the first things when we got off the plane. Like we started meeting people, and the stress went away. The next time I felt even like an ounce of stress was getting back on the plane to go home. Do you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like imagine mm-hmm. that. Like, do you think it's like? Do you think it's more so travel then, as well? Like just being in a new place, like being in somewhere. Since different, this was post new? Thanksgiving. And post his fight and post an entire year of some of the biggest like success stories for both me and him and for us, we felt very okay saying, don't email, don't text me. I don't want to talk to anybody and putting the phones down for five days. Like it felt very okay for me to get back to that point, like very often or like even semi often would be challenging. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I mean, think about my life, my life goal. At the end of the day. Yeah. Lazy river. Lazy bro. river. But you can't also be stressed in a lazy river. Impossible. But also it would be to own, maybe not even work, but to own a food truck on a beach somewhere. Yep. Right. And so maybe you have someone else work it. But then what if it blows up? Which by the way, we've seen what fire can do to cars. It's, yeah. it's, it's terrible. It's not good. Dude. It's terrible. And so that's a good point. Yeah. But like, if it doesn't blow up. Yeah, you're good. You're chilling. You're chilling. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Looks like we got this guy here. Just trying to trying to send it? it over, yeah. yeah we'll oh, we're trying to hit a little airdrop. This guy was this guy was special. He was he was a special guy, dude. Like he brought brought some joy, or brought some trouble. Mm. Mixture of the, I would say he was cl- kind of in the same category as the spineless man that Ooh, we met. Like okay. he was a, he was okay, a, he's a he was a feisty. floater. He's he, a floater. He, he saw me waiting for my bags, and he, he he's he's already drunk. He's sitting in the corner of the airport with an empty bottle of yeah, vodka. Bottle. He was drunk. When we get drunk, when I say on this show that we get drunk, 
I could take my SATs and get a 1200. So Facts. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I say that wholeheartedly, except for the one, the one time at the, the Hawaiian luau at Logan's house. That's the one time. But when, <laughs> when kids, young adults, people that are watching the show, we don't get, we don't black out. We just, first of all, because we can't, because no, we you can get, hold our liquor. Yeah. Your livers are like seasoned veterans. Yeah. At this but point. also, but also because we just don't do that. We don't drink to do that. This guy was wasted in public, bro. So he goes, Laura. Oh, and then no. he comes over. Oh my God. That looks like death. Oh, look at this fucking Howley over here with his bag. Oh, bro. That's the best you got. <laughs> hey, bro, what you doing over here? I wish I could ask you the same thing. What the fuck are you doing, bro? Bro, sometimes I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> same. That bro. makes that makes three of us. Hi, hi, I'm Mike. What's good, Logan? Nice to meet you. First time in Maui. What's up? Oh, What's baby. Up? <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, so he just threw that up on TikTok. That was the first time we... Yeah, bro. It has like, it has like 30,000 likes. It does? Yeah. <laughs> How weird is that? Because I think it's because you get to see like Logan behind the... Le you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, like without n knowing what was about to happen. Like, very behind the scenes. Well, yeah, David, people, David, like, David, people like yeah. seeing you like caught off guard. Yeah. David's question to me was, did I think he was going to do... The thing that that guy in Vegas oh, did, if you God. remember that. No, nah, he was too drunk. He was too drunk. Yeah, I told him he was. He doesn't. Was... By the way, when guys do that, he doesn't get mad. Are... I I lose my shit. Are your you phone, get, you are your phone snapping too. days over, do you think? My what? Phone snapping. S snap. Will I snap the yeah. phone? Are those over? Uh, yeah, I won't snap a phone. Okay. Yeah, no phone yeah. snapping. That's good. Just because you can, you can get in. You can get in Dude, serious trouble sometimes. Yeah, Dude, you can snap a phone. Yeah. Even if they do. I, I'm sure if like someone like presses me, like let's say this. Let's say the guy who came up and grabbed my neck held his phone in my face. I'll probably snap his phone. I'm not going to lie. Or his neck. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? By the way, rightfully so. He shouldn't have been grabbing you by the back of the neck. But that dude was fucked up, dude. Yeah, that's, that's, how, that's, how we, that's how we landed in Hawaii and we looked at each other. We're like, I understand what now what type of trip this is going to be. Yeah. See, that's, that's my thing about alcohol, bro. Back to, I don't want to dive into it, but I mean, it, it brings out some bad qualities in it people. It depends who you are. Dude. 100%. 100%. I, yeah. I can. I've never seen you. You guys have never been at a point. I've other never than the seen luau, Mike. <laughs> other than the luau, I've never. Re, I've never re, even gotten remotely mm -mm. close to that. Mm -mm. And if I if I do, I collapse on on myself and I crawl on the floor, army style, and someone needs to save me. I think it just like reveals like who, who the person is, though. Like deep down, when you're drunk, you're still a nice guy. They Damn. say a drunk mind is a sober heart. Mm. A drunk mind mm -hmm. reveals a sober heart. They there we say. go. I see that. That's what they say. Mm -hmm. I I feel remiss or or just like not responsible for just leaving the the girl side of things out of it completely I, like like i want to talk about the strategy that is involved in finding suitable bachelorettes we'll call them on an island like maui Ooh. now what are you doing are you a, a, a lot of it is walking around and finding new people you're looking for girls at the bar you're talking to you know people at the resort this is similar to like island hopping back in world war ii it sounds very like. similar yeah but what didn't happen in world war ii was the combo effect of digital applications okay mm. so my situation is i like to utilize swiping apps and I'm not going to name any of them because I have my own dating app, obviously, which isn't available in Hawaii. So fuck it. I'll say a Tinder and Bumble. I'm on those two and I'll be swiping. And what I'm doing is I'm swiping. But am I really swiping? No, I'm looking for Instagram handles. Mm. I'm looking for the girls who are smart enough and good enough marketers to put their Instagram handles into their bios. OK, then I'm then taking it over to my home ground, which is Instagram to utilize the blue check that God has given me mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. kick the fucking door down yep. in this situation. Like a lumberjack. Like a Just fucking like, lumberjack. Boom, you, gotta understand, you gotta understand, if you, if you are a girl who is visiting Maui or is local to Maui and you get a DM with a blue <laughs> check from at Hey Big Mike blue check, yo, that's a big deal. Your life's made. He might as well be Leonardo DiCaprio uh, Messi, Cause it's not in, Cause Ronaldo. it's not in LA. Yeah. It's not LA. In LA, you you got a blue check. Yeah, so does my yeah. janitor. Yeah, my maid has right. a fuck. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Everybody has a blue check. Yeah, you slang that blue check around anywhere else. <sighs> you go. You're so good. so to, we go to Maui, and and so like I say, I send out. I don't know. Call it two, three hundred DMs. <laughs> okay, my hit rate on them <laughs> time might be literally lately 98 percent. No. i would say response rate oh yeah i would say i can show wow. you i can show you my response rate wow. because by the way i'm quite skilled at what i'm saying as mm -hmm. well so it's a combo effect ah! 
Can you show the can you show the teethless one for that and make that sound at the same time, please? Please, please. He's good. He also does an extremely uh effective and efficient copy and paste. Oh, that was wow. funny. I, so I met so boom, boom, so when boom. you are when you're firing off at uh call them specialists. You're not shooting for generals here, okay? okay. These are these are sub five thousands, okay? So, <laughs> Oh no! This is the epitome of our generation. But I let's dive in. Yo, I write a I write a funny thing stuff. that says this. It says, "Hi, I've just landed on your island with my controversial YouTube friend." Oh my god! We have nothing to do. Please help. One. It was one thing, and I sent it. I then located twenty, thirty thousand other girls <laughs> to send. By the way, the exact same message too. So it's find, oh, no. copy, paste. Find, copy, paste. I boom. I fucking boomed them out. And then all of a sudden, me and my homie got a fucking roster of girls to chill with for the rest of so, the fucking trip, bro. Yeah, but I will say we didn't hang out with any of them. And like not every, those ones. That's not, funny not a you single say one. That. It's not, funny you say not that. Not a single one. We met. That, no, we met one. We met one because the kid we met and hung out with knew her. We met that kid that we were hanging out with at Dog and Duck the first night, and he she, knew her and brought her around. And by the way, she was a misfire. But she didn't. Oh uh, yeah, you you don't remember oh. because you probably she probably even never made it through the defenses to get to the, the general, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I was like, yo, you seem nice, but not nice enough. And so we didn't really hang out with her for that long. But it, the point is this: what I'm saying is like mm, pretty much every time meeting people in person tends to be the the, the, the way to do like anything. By the way, unless mm -hmm. unless you're watching this and the blue check is the best thing you have going for you. Oh, That's the yeah. difference for us. That's the difference for us. We're in real life. We're funny. We're at least like semi good looking. Mm -hmm. And by the way, I found this to be the most important thing. We're a lot bigger than you thought we were going to be. Yeah. Every fucking time. Do you do, like literally? Do you, you guys know, are so much time. The, the, uh, <laughs> the, the Emily Willis relationship started out of you're so tall. Like I, I didn't understand this. And <laughs> she, I hate to Emily Willis went up to Mike and said, you're tall. I want to climb you like a tree. Like a tree. Wow. And she climbed and his she, dick. She did, and, dude. She <laughs> she climbed that tree. This was one of the this was one of the times where like that made me realize just how like much of a cheat code that height thing is. Oh yeah. It's uh, it's a it's a big big advantage. It's tall. It's a tall order. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. uh yeah. I fell in love. What's new? Oh, that's, you did. That's what I was uh, asking. I'm lying. I said it like I always do. Did you guys make out? Nope. Oh no! Definitely not love. Well, I don't know why. No, <laughs> don't don't oh, don't. What happened? No, bad, no. bad breath. Don't do it to me. Don't don't. Do just it. No no fish? don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No don't do it. He looks like he kind of still want to do it. <laughs> do it. Engaged. She was engaged. Oh, she was engaged. Yeah. Tricky, bro. When you That's fall good. in love with a girl who's got a fiance, what do I what do I do? Huh? Yep. What do I gotta do? I'm a guy. Up. I just want to play frisbee. You showed up a little too late. And by the way, she called off her wedding for him. I really fucked it up, dude. Wait, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Wait, what? Yep. She had a date. She was about to get married. I just like burped a little bit. What? Yeah. What he happened? broke up a fucking wedding in Maui. So he meets this girl at the bar. And okay. she called it off. Hold on. So he meets this girl at the bar. They start talking. She's a beautiful blonde chick. And uh, she's like, oh, he's like, what are you here for? And she's like, oh, I'm here. I'm engaged. Like, I'm here to get married. I'm getting married this weekend. And uh, he's like, wow, that's incredible. Like, it's just a shame, you know, because so beautiful <laughs> like like that kind of humor yeah, like yeah. just like knocking them and uh so so we're hanging out one night and we're drinking and you know one drink leads to another one dick leads to a vagina <laughs> and all of a sudden the next day we wake up and she is texting him something about last night changed the way that like i feel about my fiance you're incredible like i know we both live close to la like we should we should talk oh no and he responded to her with no response because none of this story is true. I made every single part of it up. And I feel bad, kind of bad about it, dude. I'm not gonna... No, but... <laughs> True. Some of it is. Some of it is. Nah, no. Spencer, I'm sorry. I love Spencer. I love you. No, oh, no. <laughs> oh, the YouTube plaque fell on his knee. Oh, no. what if he, really he, he runs marathons. Help me up. Help me up. That was the worst fall yet. He got air. Help me up. He was at least four feet Help off the ground. Up. Help me up. Oh, no. We're good. Wait, wait. Gra We're good. Grab the the, uh, the, the wire. Uh, <laughs> holy shit. Dude, that actually kind of hurt. I'm 
I'm happy. Yo, you, so got, I'm by you got scent. air. I'm impressed by the scent. These well, shares, you really got to go back, dog. <laughs> bro, what? It doesn't just go. You I'm so happy you didn't it. hit your head, bro. What hurt worse? The the, the fall or the YouTube no, the plaque? The YouTube plaque, it's bro. Tw- it's 100 yeah. pounds. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt. My running career is over. <laughs> Yo, but so by the way. No, like, no, no, no the, only, the only part of that is true. That is, uh, I, I, I met this girl and she was engaged and then just, that was it. Obviously not. But it, but it called, but it brought, it, break up a marriage, it brought up like, a massive morality conversation. And I, I lean, I lean a, so I just bit my tongue off. I lean a certain <laughs> way on it. <laughs> it really hurts a lot. No, no, I, no. Do, are we no, getting no, into the no, feelings no, on it? No, no, no. I, no, I, 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 wait, something, uh, I, wait, wait, do you want, are, are you really sticking with nothing? <laughs> <laughs> oh no What actually happened Of that story That was true Nothing no, The girl's no, no. engaged I met a girl I fell in love with her She's engaged I okay. fell out of love with her Okay got it. Because she was engaged her. I'm yeah. still in love with her mm-hmm. I love her Here's it, it made me realize I think I might be Settling down boys soon Really Yeah, yeah same I think so I, think so. Really. I, have, I have vision I smell it And dude. dreams I smell it Of me Spending my time With a woman Who I love That will make me mm-hmm. better And mm-hmm. make me Continuously happy Instead of chasing what is fleeting, and that is the Instagram thought. Yep. Thank you, Let's go. Let's go. Honestly, Woo! honestly, I, I, could, I have caught Ebola from the amount of times I've heard this fucking story. You yeah. have been saying this for the past 20 fucking years, dude. At what point are you going to say some truth hoods? I kind of sm- smelt it, though. I don't I, fucking I really smell don't. shit. You want to know why? Because my Why? nose is clogged with water from the shit yeah. water that I was swimming in for the past four years. <laughs> Listen, dude. Damn. Dude, if you if you cuff up, if you get cuffed, you're gonna perform so much better. You're gonna be so focused on what you do. Like honestly, there's that there's there's a lot you have to give up, but dude, I agree. It's worth I it. agree. It's worth it. Do you wanna talk about the fucking annoying accomplice girl? That I mean I um did, <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll mention it. We'll, let's, Dude, let's do this. So we so quickly. Ah, God, I hate telling stories with a filter on, dude. I'm sorry. That's why. I like, so we go to this bar, and we're at this bar. And we walk in, and and we scope the scene out, dude. We're scoping it, and the first thing okay. I notice was a Becky with a big old butt, dude, just on the dance floor shaking that thing, dude. Right? Wow. Just she was she was it, dude. Right. And by the way, she was fucking it, dude. She was the girl, and. Unfortunately for me, that girl always goes to Logan because, you know, whatever you want to imagine, the reason is. Okay. So we're there and he, you know, he talks to her, but it was kind of like a, it was kind of like two, like, like cave people talking. Like there's no real connection. It was like, like not much happened, bro. Right. The, 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 the rockets weren't firing off, bro. Mm -hmm, Right. mm -hmm. And I'm watching, I'm scoping, I'm waiting for him to slip on a banana peel metaphorically. I'm like, (laughs) how's he going to fuck this up so I could dive into that big old booty, dude. Right. By the way, it's it's a, it's a great game plan. You know, I'm going to fuck. If I, my thing in life is if I got something good going for me, I'm going to fuck it up. (laughs) <laughs> I'm gonna make sure nothing good happens. No. It's a joke, Spencer. Relax. Know, Wait, no, yeah. that's that's totally true because I did fuck it up. My problem is, I I kind of like playing the field too much. Like, uh, yeah, the field. Like, I like I'm a I'm a pinball machine, bro. I'm ding ding. Well, you're young. You're young. Bing, 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 bing. So what what? Go, go All right, so anyway, so so we're there and, and you know, he turns into the pinball machine mentally while he's talking to her. And I'm watching, I'm like, I'm like, I, and I'm watching, I'm like, if I had like a sports commentator that I was sitting with, I'd be like, this doesn't look good for him, Steve. He's at the 10 yard line and he has dropped the ball. The Raiders have regained possession. And so I'm watching. She right? tells me, she tells me, she goes, I'm the best dancer in this bar. You talk to any other girl here, you could be wasting your time. And then she texts me when I was talking to another girl there. She texts me, you're wasting, wasting your time. time. <laughs> and Whoa. by the way, she maybe she was right. Maybe she was right, but two other girls that he had already started to sprinkle the seeds of joy and love with over the other days leading into it were at the bar. So then he starts talking to them. So I see my in. So I go up to her, blah, blah, have conversation. We're just like hanging out. And she's like, I don't usually fuck with white boys, but something about you just, I don't know, or some shit. Right. (laughs) And so we're just like something like that. And so we're just like talking. And then we go to this after party. He's got his two checks. And if I know anything about LP, I know he's trying to finesse the Treyway, dude. I fucking know that shit, dude. And so we go to this after party with a bunch of hula dancing locals. They're all fucking microwaving pizzas on top of shit, paper towels, <laughs> fucking disaster, shotgun and white claws, like a real shit show, Oof. right? And I see the out for me and my girl. So we bounce, okay? We go back to the hotel. Here's the problem. I'm still a micro-influencer, so I ain't got my own room. 
Okay, because that shit was like two G's at night. And my rich friend bought a room, but it was big enough that I had my own spindle bed. Trundle, maybe it's called. <laughs> it folds out. Folds out. So oh, my roommates again. That's kind of yep. like a subtle flex. Yeah, it's crazy. One, the only thing in the room that actually pulls out. It's crazy. So you pull out the thing, <laughs> and uh, and so we so go. Bad. Well, we're really I'm not going to tell the to story to you. you. We're only telling this story to you. Are you fucking really kidding me? Just, let's let's wrap. What? Up. Who does that? Oh, right, you want me to wrap it up? Nobody did that night. You sure you want me to? <laughs> Spencer, I'll stay. Uh, what the fuck is your problem? I'm literally talking to I know, you. But you I can't just decide piss, to piss dude. or come. It's, you want me to like yell really at you bad. or should I text you the fucking rest of you shit? Right, finish the story. <laughs> so, so, so anyway, so, we, so I go back to the hotel room and now I somehow, uh, I end up on the balcony with this girl and it's like 4 30 AM. And by the way, like shit is it, it's reached fever pit. I can't do this. You look like your head's gonna explode from urine filling it. Up. I gotta piss, bro. Right. So I'm so now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say and I'll try to say as PG as 13 as possible. I'm blowing this girl's back out over the fucking railing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me retry that. I'm fucking I no longer have to piss. Making out with this girl, okay? And there's like security fucking lights. Hey, what are you kids doing up there? So anyways, we go back inside and guess who shows up? Mr. Magoo with his two pack of funyuns, right? So he walks in. And he goes, he goes, Mike, I got a live one. He goes, he goes, this one girl, she's on the list. Spencer, you don't get the fuck out. I'm here. listening. Nah, fuck you. I have Go a list. Piss, I'm listening. I have a He's list. He's got a black list. I have a list, if bro. If you get on it and there's only four girls, there's only four, three girls before this tour, before this trip. And I can name who they are, but I won't though. They're, they're, they're wait, here this is like a, it's a list that I have. I can see beads of urine running down your head. <laughs> it's a list that I That's have. That's from the coffee. That's that not the I, If you're on the list. I never want to see you or hear from you again in my life. You're ever. barred. Ooh. I You're barred. hate Ooh. you. You're barred. Ooh. And I go, Mike, I don't know how to tell you this. This girl's made the list and I need help. It turns out that one of the women was quite possibly the most annoying human I've ever met in my life. And she I told horrible. the other guy, I go, hey, I know this is your friend. I've lived a lot of lives. I've met a lot of people. Your friend might be one of the suckiest people I've ever met in my She's life. She's bad. She was embarrassed. So much so where I pulled the cord, bro. I'm not even in it. I'm not even trying to have sex anymore. I'm completely out of the mood. I'm like, yo, fuck all this shit. As long as this girl leaves this room as soon as possible. Which, so by I the way, call didn't in the general. Happen. I call in the general to make this shit happen. So I go Damn. up to her. And by the way, my calculator ain't exactly firing off at I'm listening. I'm just wiping some sweat yeah, it's fine. at this point. Now, I kind of feel like I want to drag the story on as far as possible to see how far he leaves. <laughs> I have to right piss now. so bad. Right, Why listen. would you wait to this moment, bro? You're about to burst and tell me why. You're about to, he's about to pull, drink coffee, he's about to pull an episode coffee. one mic, dude. It just no, bounces. And, and when I went back in the chair, it, like, I don't know. Why are you oh, sweating? Are you hurt? Are you hurt? Because he drank coffee. No. It's hot. It's, it is hot in here. It's, it's, hot. it's hot, bro. It's hot. It is hot. The, the activity. I'm cooled off. Did you fall fly back I, in your chair? I like to make people feel mm, better. I thank agree you. with him. It's hot. I need to go, this, bro. This, go, go, this go, go, go. We'll wait for you. Weird. Weird. Unbeknownst we'll to mankind. This, I've never seen him sweat this much when he did his Iron Man. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> uh, anyways, what happened was, so this is weird now. He ruined my flow. And speaking of flow, I hope he pisses on his feet, dude. This is fucked. <laughs> so I go to this girl. I go up to her and I'm like, I'm like, what's going on, babe? Why, why are you so sad? Like, you see my friend, he's vibing with your girl. Yo, like, what's good? And by the way, my calculator's fucked. It's rusty. I've been drinking. And uh, and she's like, I just, fuck you. <laughs> Get away from me. I hate you. She's like, I want to sleep and I want food. I'm like, like lady, like, we, I'm can like, make, we can make that happen. I'm like, lady, whatever you want, I'm here to provide you. And I go, by the way, can I tell you, you're actually really cute. <laughs> and she goes, she goes, she goes, I shit you not. She goes, why did you say that to the other girl you brought back to the room? And I go, what are you talking about? And she goes, she's right there. And I go, fuck, I forgot about that. Damn it. Uh, and then yeah. she goes to, and then she goes and sleeps in my pull out trundle bed. And Logan's not doing any kind of romantic activity with this other girl. I'll just keep it like that. Well, I was, I was, I was out, dude. Like I, I I'm telling you, I pulled the plug. Okay. There's a night in, there's a point in the night where I was like, I go, I don't care what happens anymore as long as this girl leaves and I get to go to sleep. And by the way, if that includes the girl I was talking to, I'll be okay. Right. So I'm, I'm just going to condense this story. How was, how was the That's piece? basically It was good. I pissed a lot on my feet, though. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was basically it. We handled the situation. We had How's that possible? Uh, food at like 5 a.m. And but, I also, but the point is this. The, the moral of the story is this. Like, you really got really to scope out. 
who you're talking to and try to try to read personalities before you uh, invest in them. Yeah. Like I, I did not do, I did not do a thorough job of like scope and I, I, I can't be doing this of scoping out who I'm hanging out with. And I will say alcohol doesn't help because like everyone's different. I can handle my alcohol really well. So can you. So I can knew, most of our friends. I knew about this girl the second I met her. I knew. You know what the first thing she said to me was? She goes, oh my God, it's Logan Paul. I, <laughs> red flag should have been thrown up immediately. Bro. Immediately. Bro. I knew and I knew the way she <laughs> talked. She's like, her, her talk was like, when I say it, it's obviously very joking about all the blue checks and followers. She says it seriously. Like one of those girls, she's like, Oh my god! Like this bitch thinks she's so cool because she's got forty five hundred. Well, I got sixty three hundred, bitch. So like, the, I'm like, yo, I'm listening to her. I'm like, I do, not, I, I hate my life right now. Like yeah, it's horrible. It but uh, this situation's not the first time it's happened. There's been a lot of times in my life, and I'm sure in yours too, where you pick up this hot chick and she comes along with some baggage, bro. And that baggage is a human, which which made me oh. real, which made me wonder. I I, I honestly. I respect it, and I admire women for sticking together in that capacity. Oh my, it's and, wild, and, and and they're they're willing to bring along their friend who they know could be just a, a tornado of horrendous mm. shit. And yeah, talk about a cock block. No, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Just, but but like, remember, remember you, you said in your story, like you let you left, you left me at the house to die in the middle of yes. Maui. Well, no, I didn't even get to. I said I left, but it wasn't the way you explained. It, but he's absolutely right. When I saw my shot, I was like, yo, this girl's good to go. Like she wants to do this. I want to do this. Like let's be out. And maybe we can grab some food along the way. I see a full journey in my head, mm. bro. Right. Mm -hmm. As guys, I'm not like, but wait, my friend, my friend. I gotta find my friend. And like, mm -hmm. he wants to take me home, but I, my, 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 like all that shit. We just bounce, bro. Because he dipped. And guess what? I'm walking around the streets of Maui and, I'm Alone. Like, and I, I go, where's Mike? And I, and then in my, my next, my follow up question, my answer was, I don't know. And I don't fucking care because I'm fine and I'm sure Mike's very fine. Right. Like, that's just, what it was. He's I was happy. Just good. I was like, I was like, I could do this as long as my boy is all good. But mm. it's like, what do you but, do? But, but no, nah, we could, we could learn from women, dude. Maybe next time we do some sort of uh, we do some sort of tether, me and you, like this, and then we we can avoid the situation that happened. I I, I am if for people out there who have, are still listening have seen Pulp Fiction. I am Mr. Wolf in these situations. He knows this. By the way, it's one of the reasons I'm his right hand man. Yeah, he knows when he's got a fucking issue. He calls me and I get crafty. Mm -hmm. If I wasn't doing my thing and he was like, "Yo, I got this girl, bro. She's fucking it up for me. You should see how I take care of that." I'm like. Hey, let me talk to you for a second. You like you like Chick-fil-A? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, there's one around the corner. What do you say we go? <laughs> Two seconds later, she dropped off at her parents' house sleeping. I just fucking finagle shit. Yeah, but I, she doesn't live with her parents. I, so that I was seems just weird. I was just trying to get a takeaway. To be honest, yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> fuck a tether. Fuck. fuck a tether, bro. Fuck a tether. Anyways, no, you don't want to tether each other? I'm sorry. Thanks for joining us on Impulsive. <laughs> Special guest Spencer Taylor. Do you want to cover anything? You got, you got facts? Uh, do you want a couple? I can do a couple. I want you. Yeah, I want I, you I mean, to be I'm on down. our show. I'm down for it. Dude, I'm so far out of the game, man. Like here, because well, you you're, you're married now. It, what's pretty what's, much? What's good with this? With all this fucking drama right now, bro? What drama? Yeah. <sighs> you know what fucking okay. drama I'm talking about. What's good with all this fucking drama right now? I really bro? don't, bro. I know you I fuck fucking don't because you're trying to fix the education system. <laughs> but us people that ain't trying to fix the education system know about the drama, bro. But by the way, maybe we don't address it. Maybe we sit here and we don't talk about it, dude. I got some good stuff pulled up. I got I got one here. Nice. Brad Pitt reveals why he went 20 years without crying. Did you guys hear about this? He's he fucking went, horrible. He went 20 years without crying. How is that something you can control? Yeah, that's like... That, I, I think it's probably because he's an actor. Nope. Seems like something a sociopath would say. That's like me saying... How could, how, if you're incredibly emotionally distraught and you quite literally have no choice but to cry, how on God's green earth are you going to... Oh, he must knock himself out. I've seen this tactic. <laughs> said, I swear to God. When men are uh, about to appear weak... They'll hit themselves in the button. Stone cold, so gone, gone. Out. gone. The, the porn stars do that too. Uh, that we had on the shows. He said. He said I hadn't cried in like twenty years, and now I find myself at this later stage much more moved. Moved by my kids. Moved by my friends. Moved by the news. Pitt explained. Imagine now he just cries all the time. Yeah, he's and just he thinks because he saved up he twenty years. He, he just, cries when he's like making like pottery. 
That's what he says in here. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. You're lying about that. Uh, no, hundred percent. He cries when he's making. Like, I saved yeah, up all his. Yo, how, how you go from it, how you go from being like a sociopathic, like I got no feelings, to like just a the biggest pussy in the world, bro? Like you're crying when you're making pottery. Yeah. No, I don't. think... What it, about pottery makes you want to shed I, I tears? Th- I think it's like his escape. He's probably thinking about stuff. He's crying not necessarily about the pots, but about the things that I, made I, him I go love, make I pots. I love that. I love that. But I I don't love the polar opposite shift. That doesn't make sense to me. How you can control, you can st- quite literally stop yourself from crying because of some sort of like weird male, like I want to, like whatever his complex was. Yeah. To like, yeah, now nah, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna, because I, I love it, mm-hmm. but I don't like the gap you took before you had to get there. It's like such it's, a, like yeah. you said, it's such a thing you like have no, like I went 34 years with legs. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I had this, a choice. This one, I'm not dude, sure. Like, I'm not sure I do. What? No, 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 I'm no, saying, like, you saying? said, it was, you no, said he, had, I don't you said it was like a thing that he couldn't choose. Like he, like he did, he chose for 20 years to not cry. It's like, it's like, oh, I went 34 years with a fucking br- breathing. Yeah. Well, mm. in other news, um, and fuck you guys. Spence, why don't you go pee on yourself again? Uh, I already did that. Um, so North Korea oh, is shit. threatening, yes. is, oh, is threatening to give the U.S. a Christmas gift. <laughs> unless, unless Washington abides by an end of year deadline set set by concessions in exchange for a possible deal to curb its nuclear weapons. They're like they're like the, they're Christmas like yo, honestly kids. dude what I figured out is like it's the equivalent of you being like a like a a a, a high school senior Right. And you've and you've like worked your whole life at being like an assassin and you're a high school senior and a second grader comes up to you with their lunchbox and they're like, I got a Christmas gift yeah. for you, buddy. Exactly. And you just That's a, you're like, yeah. great. Thanks so much. Leave me the fuck alone. dude. Don't yeah. ever talk to me. That's what Donald Trump basically said. He just calls him Rocket Man. I know. And by the way, he just calls he Kim Jong Un Rocket, Rocket Man. Because <laughs> he just like, mocks him. Wait, aren't they homies? No, nah. nah, I think they, he tried uh, to be for fake. a while, right? Fake. They did, yeah. There's a photo of them wow. walking together. Which yeah, I thought Trump was, was the far, first president to go there. <laughs> he's, he's, he's the, the fart, fart president. <laughs> <laughs> did I say that? I said the <laughs> fart, <laughs> president. The fart, fart president. president. Yeah. Ah, oh, man, that's crazy. Hey, big missiles uh, coming on December 25th. <laughs> big Jesus missiles. Is, Jesus is day. Yeah, watch out. Would you ask for a kid's socks? You got an ICBM <laughs> in your stocking. <laughs> oh, congrats. <laughs> Missile launching capabilities? I don't know. Is that is that off the grid or maybe Brad? maybe maybe in your Russian accent it'd be acceptable? We've been working on intercontinental <laughs> ballistic missiles for some time now. They've been quite effective versus the Iron Dome as well as other defense mechanisms put together by both the English Americans and the Anglo Saxons. Oh my god. Anglo-Saxons. I think that made it better. <laughs> whoops. Yeah, uh, we'll probably probably end the show here. Yeah. We you got that. any other facts? I got one that was a little older. I don't know if you guys saw this, but it was pretty fascinating. There was a, a woman in Utah who was topless in her garage working on um what's it what's it called? Not drywall, the insulation stuff. Oh my god, the itchy stuff. And it yeah, the itchy stuff. And it was hot, so she took her top off, and her stepkids are like suing her for like public nudity, essentially, or like lewdness. So there's this huge like nah, bro. There's see, this huge lawsuit. Nah. Where I'm from, if you see your stepmom topless in the garage, you ask her to have sex. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's uh, that's Ohio. <laughs> that's what that's oh, that. that's. The, oh my god! I call it as I see it, dude. Oh Oof. my god! If I dude. see stepmom boobies, I, my, I don't know. Some things activate. I, I, go, I black out. I, it's not my, it's not on me. It's a higher power. I'm doing God's work, bro. As as seen on <laughs> Pornhub.com. Yeah, there's a whole yeah. vertical for that on Pornhub. And your girlfriend Emily Willis, one of the queens yeah, of it, yeah, but really not step mom, that's step brothers. Because that and that's a little tricky. That's I had, a, little, I, had a, I, I didn't have a hot step mom, but my dad was dating this girl who was super hot. And I can't say the thought didn't cross my mind, dude. Just being honest with you. Like I I was like 15 though. <laughs> so I was not only extremely horny, but also incapable of any like sexual anything. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So this is this is sparking a, a big the, who, conversation who about the, free the nipple, bro. Free so the pe- fucking nipple. That's yeah. Oh yeah. So that's what the, that's what this is all all kind of Why bringing light like to is the, the female the female body is has be, become so sexualized, right? And so we're trying to free this nipple. Yo, the first time ever, like usually, bro, like 
when it's like the feminist mm. movement. It's these crazy green haired fucking gremlin women that crawl out of lairs. They're like, fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> like psychopaths, dude. Psychopaths. <laughs> oh, they're like wearing trash bags. They have antennas on their head. And they're like, fuck you, women, fuck you. <laughs> and you're just like, lady, chill the fuck out, dude. Get away from me. <laughs> The free is, wow. The free the nipple movement is run by some of the hottest women, bro. Like Julia Rose is running the free the is like one of the heads of the free the nipple movement. Isn't that your girlfriend now? No, I want her to be though. But like honestly, like yo, the 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 like split apart between the free the nipple movement and the quality of their representatives versus like any other category, whether oh. it be the right, the far right, the far left. The feminists, like I said, like people but that are pushing for like the, the issue, tougher laws on potato farming, like it right. doesn't matter what it is. I, I'm with you guys, hundred percent. But you know, does freeing the nipple just cause mayhem in the society? Oh, no. like I, like do you just have to embrace the uh, mayhem? Ah, uh, it's it's. <laughs> I don't know. I'm 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 imagining this. I'm imagining me at the airport and me seeing a couple nipples. Breasts. Breast nipples. <laughs> Bristles. Breast, breast, breast nipples. Okay. I, I just wonder what I wonder what I would I wonder what I would do. But I'm usually pretty respectful. Like I remember I I remember all right, Brittany Furlon. I came to LA. Oh shit. Brittany. I came to LA for mm -hmm. the first time I was eighteen and she flashed me as like a like a welcome to LA thing. It was the first time I was ever here. And I remember just maintaining eye contact with her. I didn't look at her nipples. Big, one of the biggest regrets of my life, by the way, to this day. But the point is, <laughs> I was I was respectful. I was respectful. So mm -hmm. I, I often ask myself, if I saw a woman walking around topless, truly freeing the nipple, like at the airport, perhaps. I I, I mean... I don't know if, like, I don't know if I would, I, maybe, maybe glance, but, oh, she freed her nipple, and then next. There's, there's, so this is current Logan say, Paul, say, not, like, 13-year-old Logan Paul, you're correct? Speaking from the, oh. You're speaking from the place of the fact that pretty much every girl you see shows you her tits. Like, at some point <laughs> or another, like, just like, y'all want him to see my boobs. Right. Uh, every well, normal, a, every average man in America, oh. they see a pair of boobs, bro, and it's lights out, dude. Yeah. They forget their name. They want to give people free credit but cards. A, but here's the thing is, <laughs> we've they gotten, don't give a shit, We've dude. gotten to that point as a society versus, like, when you go into, like, a native tribe, for example, that's, like, everyday life. So they're Facts. not, they're not even, look. I mean, it's like, oh, yeah, it's a nipple, you know? So, I've seen, yeah. I've seen the documentaries. And, mm, Never mind. Well, I'll say it now. Well, Danny, we're, we're. I was just saying you were, you were using the airport as an example, but guys can't wear guys have to wear shirts in the airport. That's true. Ah, Airport's a horrible example. Ah. Yeah. Right. Well, just maybe in a water park. Well, you know, like no shirt, no shoes, no service. Yeah. So, like, you have to use it for places where. Uh, you but in the in the garage seems a little excessive. I mean, those kids, dude. Yeah. Who? I mean, that's. Oh, I see what's happening. There's probably some sort. There's weird. There's a weird. Uh, chasm in the relationship between their stepmom and dad. They, they must not like their stepmom. Uh, like that happens yeah, yeah. all the time, right? Oh, and they, they may have yeah. been looking for an in to be like, yo, bitch, like we out here. Yep. Yeah. And so are your tits, but that's unacceptable. <laughs> yeah. We're going to voice that to you via this lawsuit in subpoena. You yeah. ever seen a set of uneven floppy boobies? Yeah, it could frighten you. Question for you. Would you want to sue the person that showed you them? Because I fucking would. <laughs> Do you hear what I'm saying? Like, think about that. Maybe it was just a really bad set of titties, bro. And they were just like, yo, fuck you for showing us those fun bags. Dude, those are horrible. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, you got to think I about love, it. You I gotta... love the the deep philosophical routes you take on these kind of things. I mean, I got hot this, takes, this, bro. This, I got hot takes, bro. It's a, you're right. It's All right, guys. This was a hot, this was, this was a crazy episode. So it was sweaty as fuck yeah. the whole time. Was way, I've never pushed hot. that far into the, like, holding my piss in. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Thank you guys for listening to this episode of, episode of Impulsive. <laughs> <laughs> what has been going on with you? Uh, with the sign-ons and all? Yeah, You'll have a full whole episode of perfect speech. Yeah. And then as soon as it comes time to say three words that you've said 9,000 times in your life. You just, I just can't. I think, I'm, I, think uh, I had a stroke. Yeah, um, again. Okay, number so, 60. Uh, subscribe. And also, thank you for subscribing. Um, it's good to be back on Impulsive. We got episodes coming up that you can watch. More episodes that you can watch. Make sure you uh, watch them. Yep. Watch them now. We'll Bye. See you, we'll see you next time. Bye.